Let's get you back to the All Pro Capital courtside seats and rejoin Jason Shepard. Nearing the start of the second quarter here at the Marriott Center, BYU hosting Utah Valley. The Cougars with a three point lead at 16 13. We've also been following another big college basketball game tonight in the uh, women's basketball ranks. Two top 25 teams, number 21 Baylor and number 4 Utah. This game being played in Waco, and it looks like with 20 seconds remaining, Baylor is going to knock off the Utes. 84-73 is the uh, score right now with 20 seconds, and obviously this is uh, not a conference game this year. Next year it will be, but uh, we'll flex a little bit on some Big 12 pride tonight as Baylor is about to knock off Utah. Now, this BYU team will be facing both of these teams this season. Obviously, Utah in the non-conference. That game will be played up in Salt Lake City at the Huntsman Center coming up in December. And then uh, Baylor, uh, BYU will not go to Waco. Uh, The only chance to play the Bears this year will be right here in Provo once the uh, Big 12 schedule begins in a little over a month and a half from now. All right, second quarter about to begin. BYU on defense to begin the second quarter. Cougars lead is three. Into Kai Tu'u. Kai Tu'u takes Calvert all the way to the rim and lays it up. Wolverines within one. 16-15 BYU. Back into the ball game is Whiting and Smiler. So BYU st- starting five minus Wolston. Amari Whiting hits a three from the angle left. And that is Amari Whiting's first ever three-pointer made as a BYU Cougar. And might I say, likely the first of many. 19-15, BYU. Kaitu'u, strong move. Lays it in, count it, and she's fouled. A couple of up and under moves and a pretty move to the rim. Takes the contact, makes the layup. And Utah Valley within two at 19-17. Three-point play. It will not be. The free throw missed. And the rebound by Nelson couldn't hang on to it. So BYU basketball leading by two. Second quarter, one minute old. Whiting out to Calvert. Now down low to Gustin. Excellent post move by Gustin. She had her position and immediately spun around and laid it right in. 21-17. Into the corner. Tafisi. Floater, no good. Rebound, Davenport. Cougars come away with it. To Whiting. Dan low again to Gustin. Rinse and repeat. Four in a row for Lauren Gustin, and it's a six-point advantage for the Cougars. Gustin is doing a great job of getting position early, and it's making the pass easy and the layup even easier. Mabry gets the ball. Around the three-point line. Drives in strong and too strong. Layup no good. Rebound the Cougars. And they push it. Looking for some transition to Whiting. Fakes the three. Back to Smiler. She'll take a three from the wing. No good. Rebound. Calvert. Back to Smiler. Hands off to Gustin. Has the shot blocked. Taken away by the Wolverines. Good defense by UVU. Tafisi picks up the dribble. Hands off to Kaitu'u. Kaitu'u. Has the ball knocked away by Calvert, regains it, and Emma reaches in and is called for the foul. And Emma doesn't like it. So Calvert called for her first personal foul, the second team foul for the Cougars. Calvert will head to the bench. Woolston checking in, so BYU starting five now on the court. Smiler, Woolston. 
Gustin, Whiting, and Davenport. They get it in to Criddle. Allie Criddle, the junior from Lehigh. Out to Nelson. Nelson, three-point shot, no good. Rebound, Woolston. Freshman to freshman, Woolston to Whiting, and Amari crosses midcourt, nearing seven minutes here in the first half. BYU leading 23-17. Whiting, a little stutter step, takes some contact. Back out to Davenport. Hands back to Whiting. Whiting defended by Criddle to Woolston. And Woolston, her third traveling call in the first half. A little indecisive. And another turnover for BYU, their sixth. UVU with just two. They'll inbound to Bayon and now back to Criddle. Criddle wearing 13 in the black trimmed in green for Utah Valley. Good defense by Smiler. Knocked it away. Out of bounds. Soap side out for the Wolverines. Criddle will inbound side out into Bayon. Kaylee Bayon from Buena Park, California. A 5'7 sophomore. Passes out of the double team. Now has it knocked away. Good defense by the Cougars. To Whiting. Whiting. Step through. Has the ball knocked out of her hands. It will be off of Utah Valley. So BYU will keep possession. But that was good defense. Nice move by Amari. Just active hands by the Wolverines to knock it out of play. 27 seconds on the shot clock. Amari inbounding baseline. Amari goes up top to Smiler. Smiler back to Amari. Fakes the three. Drives into the lane. Takes some contact. Count it and she's fouled. Went to her left. Got the body bump. Gets the bucket and can make it a three-point play. 25-17 Cougars. That's one of Amari's strengths is her ability to go strong to the basket. And now an opportunity to make it three. Getting the three-point play the hard way here. Moments ago, hit her first career three, and now looking for the three-point play. Free throw is up, and good. Whiting now. Ten out of the last 11 points have been scored by BYU. Utah Valley's not scored in almost three minutes. They may get that erased here, and they do. Nice driving layup by Nelson. And that ends that streak by the Cougars. 26-19, BYU's lead is seven. Showing some pressure. Pass to Davenport. Wide open three, no good. Rebound, Criddle. Outlet pass to Bayon. Bayon into the corner. Smiler knocks it off of Bayon's leg. Good defense by Kaylee. BYU possession. Davenport inbounding to Whiting. Under six minutes to go in the first half. Cougars shooting 48% from the field, 50% from three. Davenport fakes the three. Drives baseline, no good. Rebound to Gustin, fouled on her way up. Instead, they'll call a travel. No foul, a traveling call. And there have been four at least four traveling calls here in the first half on BYU, and that's the seventh turnover on the Cougs. That has been one of the keys to Coach Whiting and the coaching staff is got to cut down on the turnovers. BYU right now averaging about 19 and have seven so far in this game. Nelson takes the handoff from Cheney. Into the lane, floater no good. Rebound, Davenport. Davenport picks up the dribble. And now passes to Whiting. Whiting crosses midcourt. Coach Whiting calling out the instructions. Bad pass. Luckily tipped by Nelson before it went out of play. So it will be BYU basketball. Rose Bubakar will check in for Lauren Davenport. And a timeout with 4.57 on the clock. Cougars leading by seven. Over Utah Valley, it is BYU 26, UVU 19. Back to the Marriott Center after this timeout on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Back to Jason Shepard for more BYU women's basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. 
Hey, Cougar fans, did you know that when you order groceries through the Smiths app, you get the same great prices, deals, and rewards on pickup and delivery as you do in store? So however you get ready for game day, you can always say big at Smiths. BYU with a seven-point lead. 26-19 is our score with four minutes and 57 seconds remaining in the first half. Leading the way for the Cougars and all scores is the freshman, Amari Whiting. Seven points on two of four shooting. Also one of one from beyond the three-point line. Her first as a BYU Cougar. Two of three from the free throw line. As well as four rebounds and two assists. I mentioned this a few minutes ago. Coming into tonight, she was averaging 13 points, six rebounds, and three assists. And making her third straight start as a freshman. She has been uh, everything as advertised, and the good news is she's healthy and has not had any minutes restrictions, and that's the, uh, that's the most important thing. Play set to resume. It will be BYU basketball, 17 seconds on the shot clock. Woolston will inbound side out. And Woolston gets it into Whiting. Whiting uses the screen by Gustin. Now Gustin rolls into the other corner. Back to Whiting. Now to Woolston. To Amari. Six seconds. Cougars need a shot. Four. Three. Smiler. Two seconds. Takes a bump. And before the shot, they're going to be a foul will be called on Utah Valley. Let's see if they call that on the shot or before. They're going to call it uh, before. So BYU will inbound with 20 seconds. Number five, Jenna Dick, checking back in. Bayon will take a seat for Utah Valley. Amari up top to Smiler, to Rose. Rose looking for Gustin, has her pass tipped and turned over. Four and a half minutes left in the half. Criddle crosses midcourt, met immediately by Whiting. Criddle, strong drive, underhand scoop, no good. Falls to the ground. Thought she was fouled. No whistle. Whiting to Wilson. Wilson fakes. Has her shot blocked on the layup attempt. Tessa Cheney with the block. The sophomore from Saratoga Springs. BYU will inbound with 22 seconds left to get a shot off. 412 on the game clock. And they'll wave off a substitution. Play is resumed. They get it into Bubakar. Now to Wilson. To Amari. Now on the low block to Gustin. Gustin goes to her right. Fouled on her way up. Two free throws upcoming for Lauren Gustin. That should be the third team foul on Utah Valley in the second personal on Tessa Cheney. Oh, they gave it to Nelson. So Davenport will check back in. Bubakar back to the bench for the Cougars. Lauren Gustin to the free throw line. Misses. That is Lauren's first free throw of the game. Lauren coming in, averaging almost 17. Second free throw, no good. 0 for 2. And the Cougars lead is still 7, 26-19. Criddle into the front court for the Wolverines. To Jenna Dick, and she loses it. Whiting comes away with it. Spins in the lane with the right hand, right over the front of the rim. Beautiful move by Amari Whiting. And right back on the other end with the steal. Breakaway opportunity, off the glass and in. She's a one-man wrecking crew. How about that? 28-19 Cougars. And her teammates and coaches love it. Quick timeout. This will be a 30-second timeout. Let's see if they make it full. Yep, 30 seconds. So we'll stay here. 11 points for Amari Whiting, and she's doing it on both ends. Followed up a nice move for a layup on one end. Got a steal. Fast break opportunity for another layup. And a very quick 4-0 run by Whiting herself. 
In the last three minutes, the Wolverines have committed three turnovers. And they haven't scored in almost 240. BYU's lead is now 11 at 30 to 19. For 150 years, Zions Bank has been serving the communities where you live, work, and play. For financial experience you can count on for the next 150 years, Zions Bank is for you. BYU shooting almost 50%. That is what they average coming in, and right now they're shooting 48% from the field. Criddle. Slowly brings it up the court as we resume play here at the Marriott Center. 325 remaining. And an offensive foul on Utah Valley. Turnover Wolverines, BYU basketball. That's another personal foul on Tessa Cheney, her second. And the fourth team foul on the Wolverines. Cougars bring it into the front court. Smiler has the ball. Now to Whiting on the angle. Whiting. Cross court to Davenport. Davenport. Down low to Gustin. Up and under move is good. Kept the ball high. Went underneath the outreached arms of the defender for the layup. 32-19 BYU. 6-0 run by the Cougars in the last 40 seconds. To Criddle. Criddle. Sent the other way by Gustin. Hands off to Nelson. And now to Dick. Dick with a long three-point shot. No good. Rebound Davenport. Gets it into the hands of the point guard, Whiting. Amari with a brilliant first half. Davenport. Down the low block to Gustin. Pass to Smiler. Smiler's layup. No good. Rebound. Utah Valley. Nearing two minutes left in the half. Three-pointer no good. Rebound Cougars. BYU pushes it. Gustin has it. Uses the left hand too strong. Rebound Cheney. Outlet pass to Criddle. Under two minutes. 32-19 BYU. Whiting on defense forces Criddle to pick up the dribble. Now into the corner to Nelson. Down low to Cheney. Cheney backing her way on Gustin. Good move with the left hand by Tessa Cheney, the sophomore from Saratoga Springs. Cheney with her first two, and it's 32 21 BYU, 90 seconds remaining in the half. Coming up at halftime, you will hear from Heather Hampson. A little player spotlight on Heather Hampson as I look across the court, the Hampson family in attendance. Amari Whiting, oh! Layup with the left hand, a little too strong. And it rolls off the rim. Criddle loses it. Out of bounds. It will be BYU basketball. Substitution. Calvert in for Whiting. Whiting will take a seat. BYU with a big lineup here now with Calvert, Gustin, and Davenport. The other two on the floor is Smiler and Woolston. One minute left in the half. Gustin hands off to Woolston. Woolston uses the left hand with a little English to get it to drop. 34-21, BYU by 13. Beautiful move by Woolston. Sage Gibb. 10 versus 10 here. Gibb and Woolston. Now handoff to Criddle. 15 seconds for the Wolverines to get a shot. 31 seconds in the half. Criddle has her shot blocked by Calvert. That layup had no chance of going. Emma was stride for stride with Criddle. Nine seconds. The Wolverines will inbound. They have nine seconds for a shot. 27.4 in the half. And I'm not sure what the holdup is. Oh, it must be a uh, 
I think there's a, a wet spot on the floor. They've got to mop that up. This will be the second straight game, BYU leading at the half. Depending on what this me, what happens here on this possession, it could be another one by double digits. Right now it's a 13-point advantage. Nelson, hand off to Barcelo. Three seconds. Barcelo passes out, and nobody realizes that the shot clock was running down. Shot clock violation. Nelson had it in her hands when the clock hit zero. So BYU will look for the final shot with 16.8 remaining. And barring something unforeseen, they will have a double-digit lead at the break. Woolston brings it into the front court. Hands off to Smiler. Nine seconds left. Smiler uses the screen by Gustin. Out to Davenport. Into the corner. Calvert is called for the travel. 3.6 remaining. BYU has had some traveling issues here in the first half. That is their eighth turnover. I could make that nine. In fact, both teams with nine first half turnovers. So 3.6 left. UVU will try to get something with just under four seconds remaining. BYU showing some pressure. One second, Criddle heaves it up at the buzzer. Hits off the rim, no good. And the Cougars will take a 34-21 lead into the break here in Provo. At halftime, Cougars lead by 13. Back with our first half stat recap on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. 